Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm back with another out of the park baseball game for you. Now, as you recall, I was the manager of the Louisville Colonels, but that is no longer the case. I have moved on to the to be the manager of the Chicago Orphans, who, as I understand it, were the forerunners to the Chicago Cubs. So, if we go and we look at my um, managerial history, there you got my full record. Three years with the Colonels. After the third year, I decided to leave. I was 64 and 76 that year. 16 and a half games back. The Colonels are moving in the right direction, but they were moving very slowly and one of the teams that offered me a position as manager was the Chicago Orphans. So I took that and that is a four year deal. Also, I was on year to year and that's, I think what happens with, um, I mean, it seems like that's what happens when you start a, 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 an out of the park game, career, career game, you are on year to year contract. So um, I left after the third year, um, making $100 per year. Of course, this is in the 1890s, so that might not have been too bad. But the orphans offered me uh, $380 a year on a four-year contract. So I will be the orphans manager for four seasons. And so there you got that record, uh, you know, not good. What am I, 150 and 287. But it will improve because the Orphans are actually a good team. As you can see, I'm 11 and six with the Orphans and they have a very good defense and they have reasonably good pitching too. So um, I believe that I am in a pretty good situation. So if you look at the, uh, if we look at the standings, where are those? There they are can see that I've got the Orphans in third place at 11 and 6. Not too shabby. Four games behind the Phillies, who I believe are the world champions um, of this league presently. And, um, and this is 1899, so we're moving forward into where the American League and the National League were two separate leagues. And um, I expect to see a difference then if the game does it that way. But who knows? Maybe the game just says, all right, well, this is the, the season you started. This is the uh, career you started. We're just going to keep these teams this way for the foreseeable future. I don't know. So anyway, um, let's get on with the game. We're playing the Phillies team that is ahead of us by a game and a half. And... Um, yeah, let's see. There you go. There's our uh, there's our lineup. I'm getting now. I'm just getting used to the orphans. I mean, I knew the by the third season, I knew the Louisville Colonels inside and out. But I'm just getting used to the um, orphans. So going to be a learning curve on that. Now let me move myself over. Maybe about here. We got Dusty Miller up uh, for us. We are the visiting team. And uh, this was, uh, I guess, the Phillies played in National League Park. And this is a day game, too, which is nice. And first guy is out. Second guy walks. Nice. Okay, so let's see who that is and what the speed he's got. Billy Smith with a 75 speed. I'm going to try to steal second. And he is going. He's all the way in. But he was thrown out. So two down and Huey Jennings. And he's thrown out. So probably wouldn't have done anything that game any or that inning anyway so um, 
Mike Sullivan on the mound for us. Batters hitting 355 against him, so this might be a rough this might be a rough game. We're playing a team that's better than us in front of us and probably my worst starting pitcher on the mound. And there's an error by the first baseman. Thank you. And uh, catcher throws down to first. Nice. And got him, too. And that was a walk. So, man on first, two down, Bill Dolan. And the runner takes off, and he gets second. I mean, I, you know, my attitude about that is I don't care. With two outs, I'm not going to watch anybody. It's up to the pitcher to get out of the inning. He only has to get the, he only needs to concentrate on getting the batter out. And that is it. So we go to the second, top of the second, Jimmy Collins up for us. A lot of these um, orphans players I don't really recognize. So if anybody out there recognizes some of these players, knows how good they were, leave it in the comments. Let me know. Tommy Tucker, man on. And he's going to pop out. So one down. 55 Jimmy Collins speed, so that's not the greatest. I mean, I had a 75 thrown out. I'm not going to send a 55. So they pull a double play off, and we are out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the second. Pop Foster is up, and he is walking. He's a 45 speed, so I'm not going to worry about him at all. And they get the force at second, and that's it. Man on first. He's a 55. I'll... Okay, there you go. Double play. Nice. Out of the inning. 0-0 zero, zero after two. We go to the top of the third. Fred Carroll is up for us. And he hits the ball deep, but it's going to be played probably unless the guy drops it. Happens sometimes. Veitch, because remember, we're still in the 1890s, so their guys still made a lot of errors because they were playing with, uh, you know, milk cartons on their hands. So this guy's going to get a triple for us. Nice. One out triple. For Veitch and Mike Sullivan, the pitcher. And whoa, Mike Sullivan getting a hit. Helping his own cause. It's one nothing, and we got Dusty Miller up. Would be nice to close the gap a little bit on the on these Phillies. So fielder's choice, they get the runner at second. There's two down, and Billy Smith up. And Billy Smith is going to ground out. Well, we got a run. We're ahead by a run. It's now it's just up to Mike Sullivan to uh, keep them off the board. But he walks a guy, which is not good. Joe Yeager, I'm going to pitch out. Yeah, he was going. And we got him. Nailed him. One down. And we throw him out. Nice. Two down. And the right fielder comes in and plays that liner, and it's an out. We're still ahead, one nothing. We go to the top of the fourth, Huey Jennings. Now, Huey Jennings, I do remember. He was good. He was a fine ball player. One down, Jimmy Collins up. He flies out. And that brings up Tommy Tucker. Tommy Tucker looks like he's going to have a hit, and he does. Falls in front of the center fielder for a base hit. Man on, two down. Pop Shiver is up, and Pop Shiver takes it the other way for a hit, and I'm not going to send the guy, no. They're not going to fake me into doing that. Fred Carroll. Fred Carroll. Now, let's see if he can score. I'm going to send him because there's two outs. 
and it's he's going to make it, and we we're ahead two nothing. That was a, I mean, I figured with two down, this is not the kind of team that strings hits together. But Veitch walks though. Bases loaded. Mike Sullivan up. He singled last time. And he pops it out in front of the plate, but he's out. But now he has a 2-0 lead, so let's see if he can hold that. Love out of the park baseball. I got to say I love it. I mean, the 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 uh, gra mainly because of the graphics, but also playing the old-time um, players. And you can see he's not tired yet. There's a lot I like about the old time. I don't like all the errors. There's a lot more errors than you're going to see in a regular, you know, modern day baseball game. And rightly so. But one thing I do like is that the pitchers can go, whoa. Man, that guy got an inside the park home run out of that. You can, um, the pitchers can pitch an entire game. And that's, I do like that. That should be playable by the center fielder, and it is. Two down. They got an inside the park home run, and that's going to be played by the right fielder. So that is how it is. It's two to one after four innings. We go to the top of the fifth. Dusty Miller. Dusty Miller is, and they make great play by the right fielder. Great sliding catch. Billy Smith is up. I mean, Billy. I remember Billy Smith to play for the Islanders in goal, but I don't remember this Billy Smith. Huey Jennings is up. And Huey Jennings is going to fly out to left. So we go to the bottom of the fifth. Hopefully Sullivan can hold them right here. We do have some good relievers. And Sullivan may be coming up next inning or the inning after, so I'll keep an eye on that. Ground ball to the shortstop, throws him out, two down. And Joe Yeager. I remember Steve Yeager, but I don't remember Joe Yeager. So that is, a, and the outfielder plays it. We go to the top of the sixth. Jimmy Collins is up. Unless we have a big inning, I don't think our pitcher's going to come up this inning. Ooh, whoa. That would threw the ball away, though. We might have a big inning. Man on second, no outs. Tommy Tucker. Tommy Tucker's going to fly out to center, though. Pop Shiver. Pop Shiver, he's out. So we got a runner at second, two down, Fred Carroll up. And Fred Carroll is going to fly out. So we know um, that the pitcher, Mike Sullivan, is going to come up next inning. So I may want to prepare for that, but that's good. He'll, pitch, he'll be able to pitch the sixth. I mean, he's not tired yet. And he's pitching well. I would hate to take him out, but I, you know, with this team, we're not a big offensive team. We're a pitching and defense team. So, Heine reads up with one out, and that's an out. So two down would be huge if we can if this we can turn this into a win. All right, so we've gotten through six. I am going to, I've got a rested bullpen, so I am going to, um, let's see. He's got a zero. He's got a zero. Yeah, I'm going to get um, Alex Furson up in the bullpen. Going to go back to game action, and Veitch is up, and I think Mike Sullivan's up after him. Throws him out. And yes, Mike Sullivan. So we're going to pinch hit for Sullivan. Righty on the mound, so it would be preferable if we could have a left-handed batter up. 
which I would say would be Jack O'Brien. So we will put Jack O'Brien into pinch hit. And he's actually a good hitter and a left-handed hitter. And he hits it deep, but it's probably going to be played for an out. And it is. Two down and up steps. Dusty Miller. And Dusty Miller is out. So. Yes, it's going to prompt me to put in a new pitcher, and I will. Person is coming in to pitch. Oh, he's got a zero ERA because he hasn't pitched. That's disturbing because I have no idea then really how good he is. And he may be terrible. Might have been a bad idea. He's a 70. We're going to pitch out. I'm going to throw to first. And then, of course, he goes. And we don't get it. I'm going to pitch out here just in case he has any ideas of going to third. And he doesn't, at least not right there. But he walks the next guy. Yeah, this might have been a bad idea. Well, this is going to be a fly out. We'll see if the guy can go to third. No, he can't. Good. I'm going to do another pitch out just to make sure he doesn't try to go anywhere. And he didn't. And that's going to be another run. No, wait, we might get him. We did. Ha, crazy. They should not have gone for that. So there's two down. And, uh, I mean, it, it's still disturbing, though, that the person isn't really getting his own outs. And we got him. Yeah, so he barely got out of that inning. I may have to get somebody else up. But maybe we'll give him another shot. I don't know. Billy Smith. I mean, the Phillies made a really a running gaff there. Base running gaff. They might have been able to tie the game. There's two down. And that's going to be a deep fly ball. And he bobbles it. Nice. We got a runner at second. Two down. And a good hitter, Tommy Tucker, up. And he bobbles it. Great. So we got runners at the corners. Going to assume he didn't score. And he didn't. Pop Shiver up. Pop Shiver taking it to the wall, shopping at the gap for the Pops. So that's going to put us ahead maybe by two. And it is going to put us ahead by two. Or by three. But two runs on that on that play. And it is 4-1 in Fred Carroll's hub. And Fred Carroll knocks in another run. Well, now I'll just keep firsting in because... I don't know how good or bad he really is, but he's got some he's got some runs to play with now. It's five one, and Veitch is up, and Veitch is going to make the third out. Looks like, and he does. But they made a couple of costly errors that inning, and so yeah, we're going to keep first and out there. Grounder to second, man is retired. I might bring in the closer in the ninth anyway, because, I mean, this dude has some seriously bad control. Is he out? Yeah, he is. All right. Man in second, two out. And that's going to be a walk. There's two on. And then there's a pass ball. Really, we are usually better defensively than this. And we're, we're definitely better defensively than Louisville was, so. 
I think we've got, all right, Alex Ferson's up. This is perfect. I'm going to get the closer up in the bullpen, Jack Dunn. And I'm going to pinch hit for him, right-handed pitcher. So we need a lefty again, or preferably a lefty. Uh, but I don't think we have any more. I'm going to pinch hit Doc Casey for first. And Doc Casey rips a base hit. And he's a 70 stealer, too. I'm going to try to steal second and see if we can do that. And he goes back. No, he can't get a lead. Dusty Miller. Dusty Miller's going to hit a fly ball to center, assuming he doesn't drop the ball, and he didn't. One down, Billy Smith up. And Billy Smith is going to hit it deep, but the outfielder's under it and makes the play. Two down. Huey Jennings. And Huey throws him out, did he? Yes, he did. So there we go. Jack Dunn is ready. Put him in. And he should be able to nail this down. Won't even get a save for it, but I don't really care. That's an out, first out. I mean, we're beating the team ahead of us. This is big. Ground bow. We bobbled the ball. Safe at first. And then he walks the next guy. So there's two on with one out. Ground ball to short. Double play. Yes. And we are out of it. And we win the game. So this is what it looks like. This is the box score here. We had some guys, we had some guys uncharacteristically. I mean, the team really hit well. The team doesn't really normally hit like this. Nine for 37, that's pretty good. Shiver and Carroll were two for four each. And then you've got first and with the hold, two innings, no earned runs. And now he's got a true zero ERA. Sullivan went six and that low six six and allowed only one earned run. That lowered his ERA to 623. And then Joe Yeager, their pitcher, he pitched pretty well, but not well enough to win. So this uh, is the standings as they are right now. Let's let me move myself over here. So we are now only a half game behind the Phillies. That is huge. And we're in we're three game up, three games up on the Brooklyn Suburbans. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Let's see here if it stays that way. Yep. So I hope you enjoyed that game. That's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke.